Today I'm going to show you guys a problem that y'all might not have the answer to that bugged me for at least two years. And I'm going to show you exactly how to get your wheel working. So guys, as you can see by what I've searched up, it barely shows anything, right? It just shows you how to set it up with an Xbox because it's only supposed to work with an Xbox. Reason is, this identifies as an Xbox controller. And basically, all you have to do to do that is go to this GitHub right here. I'll put the link in the description. And basically, what this does is this turns this thingy right here into this thingy right here. And then you can use it on literally any game, whether it's Minecraft with immersive vehicles and also normal Minecraft if you use a uh, rewazed which turned this thing into that thing right there. So the important thing about immersive vehicles though is you can turn like slightly and it will actually turn slightly. It's not like A and D. So you can actually drive immersively in Minecraft and you can set up your shifter if you have one. I need to buy an eBay one because this one doesn't work yet, but it will and I'll make a video on it when it does. Same for the clutch down there. They're literally just Xbox controllers. But y'all can go subscribe and watch my latest video for that one. If you want the backstory. But we're not just here to goof off because I'm gonna teach you guys how to use this thing on literally any game that supports an Xbox controller and even ones that don't. Because this works with Assetto Corza, Forza, BMNG, literally anything. Even Minecraft Dungeons. And of course, Car X. But anyway, so here's what I'm gonna show you. So, what you gotta do, you gotta click on this part. Or wait, not, not this part. You gotta click on this part right here. And then, it go to the download thingy. And then once you click the download thingy, it take you to the installer. Now the installer, I have this installed already, so it doesn't actually um, show. But it will ask you to download .NET. If you have any other version of .NET, Go to Control Panel, Programs, Programs and Features. Just go right here and you'll find it and then just delete it. But guys, that's literally all you have to do to get it working. So let me know in the comments below if you need help, if you have any questions at all. And in the next episode, I will show you how to get the shifter working. And after that, the clutch. Anyway, I really do appreciate it. Like I said, just comment below, uh, please. It also helps the algorithm, you know, get me closer to uh, making money, which, you know, money for better content and like real car content, because I know that's what y'all want. So subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode and I'm out.